Tackle over 12 personnel, 10 shade, ISO is the play, Vanderish comes almost untouched through the A-gap because Fluker didn't have his head and eyes up on the mic on the combo block. Gun 11 personnel over front, Nathan is an A-gap mug, zone right, the nose tackle and the tackle stunts, aka taking away the caps based off the running back alignments. Nathan just makes a savvy football play and pops to the backside C-gap for the tackle. 12 personnel unbalanced right, 50 shade, halfback counter with all of the offensive line zone blocking. Vanderis slips through the down block of Clark and redirects to make the play on Mac in the backfield. Tackle low 12 personnel zone right, 60 shade, number 62 Clark took a bad angle on his tray block and Vanderis used his savvy hands technique to just be a better athlete and make a vicious tackle on Mac. Gun 12 personnel inside zone left 10 shade. Vanderet sees the backside A gap open and beats Brooks due to him staying on the combo block a tad bit too long. Gun 11 personnel inside zone left 10 shade. Vanderet went through on touch because of a phenomenal play by his teammate Ross, who stunned inside to blow up the number count of the offensive line and they tag team on the play. Unbalanced right, 12 personnel, ISO 50 shade. Vander scrapes over the E-gap, a.k.a. the open space, because both tight ends are combo blocking Gregory and forget about Keen, the second level defender, and he then meets AD in the backfield. Tackle over 11 personnel, outside zone right, 10 shade. Vander runs to the play side B-gap and slips and bends underneath West's block to make a solid tackle on Edo Smith. Gun 11 personnel, trap left, 10 shade. Vander wrong arms and splits underneath the future Hall of Famer. Peters block to stuff Smallwood for a minimum game. Pistol 20 personnel, dive read option, 10 shade. Vander is good with his eyes and doesn't go until he knows and he makes the solo tackle on Lewis. 12 personnel, stretch right, 10 shade. Vander separates himself from the center, Ben Jones, to close ground on Lewis. I thought I'd show you all that he's not just a solid athlete, but he actually hustles as well. This is what coaches like to see when they cut on the eye in the sky. Gun 11 personnel read option. Bortle keeps it because Crawford chased the running back. Vanderess did for a split second chase, but pivoted to Bortles and makes the shoestring tackle. Unbalanced 12 personnel ISO 50 shade couldn't ask for an easier tackle, and he comes through scot-free through the C-gap to make the tackle on blue. Unbalanced 12 personnel, same exact play, same exact results, but I like this tackle a lot better because he just comes to the runner with a lot more attitude and oomph. Gun 10 personnel outside zone right, Vanderess is apexing in between the tackle and the number two receiver. He sets up the slot by taking two hard steps upfield and just stabs and swims over the top for a beautiful shoestring solo tackle. 21 personnel fullback lead left, 30 shade, Vanderess makes a good play by keeping his outside arm free on McFadden to make the tackle on Carson. Trips right tight, Tampa 2 coverage look. Vanderess has the flats to curl. In my opinion, he drifted too far out looking at the flats, but gets in the throwing lanes to almost get the INT on a bad throw by Wilson. Gun 11 personnel, even though Reed split is a little bit too wide, Vanderess is the quarterback spot, and he just follows McCoy, and he times his jump perfectly to get both hands on it to disrupt the timing. Gun 10 personnel, three-step pass, meaning this one, two, three, everything is timing and quick. However, Vanderess is the quarterback spy on the slant, and Ryan didn't like it, so he steps up and breaks the pocket, and Vanderess just chases him to get the quarterback hurt. Gun 20 personnel, cover one robber. Vanderess is manned up on Hooper and was just at the right place at the right time to catch the interception to create a turnover for the Dallas Cowboys. Empty personnel manned up on a tight end who runs a reverse pigtail. Vanderess does a good job with his footwork and latches on within five yards because he could be hella aggressive because it's the red zone, so you're really not going to get called a penalty for the PBU. Empty personnel cover three in the field, cover one in the boundary with the defense alignment popping out to play man to man on the number three wide receiver. Vanderess has no threat, so he just takes a deep middle drop and just plays the quarterback's eyes and he drops underneath the dig route to catch the INT for the Dallas Cowboys. Eleven personnel, ten shade, cover six. Vanderess drops to his hook and let the ball bring him down to the stick route, and the impact on the collision caused the fumble to create another turnover for the Dallas Cowboys. Ten personnel, cover one, Manda versus Big O, the tight end who runs the over the center curl, and he just sticks to him like glue for the PBU. Hey, that actually rhymed. There you guys have it.
with another breakdown done by yours truly, Coach Norris. And this was a good pick. And I was one of the only few people that said that they needed to get a solid linebacker because Sean Lee has proven that he cannot stay healthy and get out of his own way. And I think they made a phenomenal pick, a safe pick. And a lot of the Cowboys fans were upset about this pick. But it paid off. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. If you need work done, email me. And if you want to call me, hit me up. That's my number right there, 903-851-1598. God bless.